most of the people here um, uh, work in fields uh, as the farmers or uh, taking care of lands and that's uh, the way how they make money. Of course there's people that work in different businesses uh, around this area uh, including Antigua but most of them just work in land and just growing crops. Many of the parents here uh, don't have very much of a formal education. A lot of them maybe finish third grade, fifth grade, some maybe even less. Obviously there are a few exceptions, um, but we're trying to change that here in this community. Um, our vision uh, as a Liberty Guatemala, it's uh, giving the same opportunities to the girls and us and the boys to go to school. Uh, what happened here is that uh, people think that the girl is made to be in the kitchen and the guy is the one that has to provide. So uh, girls, they can go farther that fourth grade and then that's it. And then uh, the guys can go a little bit farther just because they have to provide for their families. One program that we have here at Elevate is scholarships. Uh, we focus on middle schoolers and high schoolers, um, both boys and girls, but like he said, we really try to encourage uh, female education. Um, and so uh, currently we have 36 student scholarships, hoping um, to keep increasing that number as the years go by. Um, that scholarship uh, provides them with their monthly tuition. It provides them with their school uniform and school supplies at the beginning of the year. The school year here runs from January to mid-September. Our program is based uh, on uh, Bible and reading. So on Monday and Wednesday in the afternoon, we open our doors around two uh, in the afternoon and we receive around 35 to 40, 45 kids. The kids that come during that time range from about three years old to 12, um, so that is through elementary grades. Um, in the reading, we've decided to focus on reading as one of the main focuses of our program because we know that reading, um, being able to read well, really enhances all other subjects in school. Um, we found that that's been a very successful thing. The kids are getting ahead um, of, their, um, of their classmates. In that reading program, uh, we use a curriculum that focuses in things like critical thinking, brainstorming, um, and just being able to understand the books deeper um, than just reading the pages. Here in Guatemalan schools, they only go half day. So that doesn't allow for um, much uh, deeper thinking and deeper work, uh, like the same kind of studies that kids in the States get. Um, and so we kind of um, are able to supplement that here with our program. On Friday mornings, we had a, a program, and as Lauren said, you know, regular program is just from uh, uh, kinder to sixth grade, and then they just go to middle school. So the middle school and the high school will come on Friday mornings, we cook breakfast for them, we feed them uh, not just uh, in their bodies, but also their souls with a devotional every morning, talking about personal experience and life experience that it's going to help them to be aware or open what the world is offering to them. As our name says, uh, Elevate, um, we're really trying to elevate this community um, through education, through Bible, and through, through knowing the Word of God. Um, and in the Spanish version of the word, it's really saying, elevate yourself, Guatemala, pick yourself up. And so we're really trying to encourage um, that they do the work, that, that it's, it's for them to better their community and better the future of their families and generations to come. We are looking for people to join us in prayer. And as always, we'll also need continued financial assistance to keep this program running for years to come. Somos Elevate Guatemala. Or in English, Elevate Guatemala. And we invite you to join us 
and what we're doing here in this little community in Guatemala called Santiago Zamora.